everyone, so today I am doing another lipstick swatch video because a lot of you have been telling me that my last ones have been really helpful and I will list down below all of the ones I've already done so you can check them out. But today I'm doing some Napoleon Purtis. So basically all of the packaging looks just like this. Um, I quite like the packaging. It's easy to see what colour you're going for because you can see it through that little tip and then it's got the colour listed on the bottom and then it's just gold and clear. So it's quite pretty and you can also see the colour at the top which is quite handy as well. So I have seven colours here and I'm just going to jump into it and I'll tell you about each individual lipstick as I go. So the first one here is called Gamelia. Um, sorry if I pronounced some of these words wrong, they've got really bizarre names. This one is just a super duper nude colour. like super plain neutral nude. It's not yellowy, it's not orange, it's not peach, it's just plain tan nude. So this is what this one looks like. It's very creamy, it doesn't accentuate any of my lines. It's got a slight glossy finish, like it's quite a creamy finish. I think it's very pale, so like you've got to be pretty pale to be able to pull off this nude or you need to pair it with a lip liner. Like I would pair this with like a darker nude lip liner to make it kind of more wearable I guess. This would also be amazing just to mix with like really bright colours to create like a creamier colour if you want to tone down one of your other lipsticks or if you just like this really pale nude look then it's perfect. As I said I would definitely pair this with like a darker nude and it would look so pretty because it would just make my lips look really full since it's such a light colour and you could just put it in the centre if you know what I mean. Next here we have Hess and this is just a kind of like light pinky beige colour. And that's what it looks like. For me, this is like my perfect My Lips Bit Better colour. So if I'm ever wearing like an eyeshadow look that is really bizarre and out there and I don't know what lip colour to put it with, this kind of colour is perfect just because it's exactly the same as my natural lip colour but just better. It's creamier, glossier, a little bit pinker so it looks really healthy and pretty. If you have a slightly darker skin tone than me, it would be a perfect nude and if you're lighter than me, it would be a really pretty pink. So it does work on a good range of skin tones. If you're super dark skin tone, it might be a little bit pale though. This next one is called Athena and it's a little bit similar to Hess but a little bit darker and it's got some like little glitter bits in it. This one is a little bit kind of chunkier to apply just because you can feel that glitter like kind of scraping your lips but it is a really pretty colour. It's kind of like a plummy pink. It's still not dark, it's still very light but it's just got that kind of plummy undertone to it, plummy purple pink. It's super duper glossy and the glitters really don't come off that intense. You can see them if you look really close up. They're kind of like a gold orangey kind of glitter, like a kind of copper glitter but from far away you can't see them at all so I guess it just depends what your preference is but I think it's just a really nice one. Again you could wear this with like any eyeshadow look because it's almost like a natural kind of colour, like it's not too out there. And this one is stunning, if I can get the lid off, there we go. Very similar again to the last one, but just a little bit more vibrant. It's a creamy kind of finish, so it doesn't have any glitter or anything in it. And that's what it looks like. This is kind of like my perfect wearable kind of brighter pink. It's still not really bright, it's not like a neon or anything, but it's definitely brighter and darker than my other pinks. But it's still very wearable, so if you're trying to get into like more vibrant lips, this is like the perfect colour because it's so easy to wear. You can see even just with like this kind of eye look or like just a neutral eye, it just complements it really well. So I really love this for that kind of thing. It's just a good day-to-day -day colour for like the office or school or wherever because it's not going to be like in your face. It's just very... Horrible. I love this colour. This is Nikki and it is kind of coral orange colour, so like pinky coral. So that's what that colour looks like. It's really nice because it's very, very sheer. It's way more sheer than the other ones. It's not a thick, creamy, opaque formula, but it just comes off so nicely on the lips and just kind of tints them that nice coral colour, so it's perfect for summer and it's good for those kind of girls that don't like that full on lipstick look because it's very glossy and it's kind of like a balm, but it's definitely a lipstick still, but it's kind of like a balm appearance on your lips. It doesn't look too intense. It looks very effortless and like just put together without trying too hard. I think that this actually goes perfect with this makeup look. Looking at it, it's like, I don't know, perfect combo. So I really like this one. Really good just for every day as well. Next we have a brighter pink and this is called Nymph and it looks like this. It's kind of like a plummy, dark, bright pink, if that makes any sense. 
and that's what it looks like again very wearable just darker again more plummy this one in particular feels very very balmy and moisturizing on the lips and it's kind of halfway between sheer and opaque like it's not real chunky but it's not sheer it's just kind of like that nice in between where it gives you a good wash of color without being too thick on your lips this last one is 100% my favorite one in the entire bunch I am obsessed with this color it's called Hara and it's basically like a really bright orange It goes on super creamy and opaque but not thick at all it's like a really nice thin layer but it still looks so vibrant and it's like the perfect dark orange which almost starts to look red in some lights but it's definitely an orange and I'm just obsessed if you guys know me you know I love orange lips and this is like the perfect dark orange it's like a couple of steps darker than orange so it's really good for like a glamorous look or like a pinup look or anything like that where you want like a dark lip like a red except you don't want to wear red like it's the perfect kind of orange like dark orange nearly red color so that is all of them i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of mini review and swatch video let me know what kind of products you want to see swatched next and i will talk to you again soon bye the ones is because the mist is so fine and even and it goes all over your face it doesn't go like squirting onto random spots of your face and leaving your face all wet it's just very fine I love it and it smells pretty good too. Look at that like beautiful finish it leaves. Obviously I've got highlighter and stuff on but honestly it just 